The waters around the Red Sea are becoming murkier. It's threatening to become the color of red. Case in point, the mystery around two U.S. Navy SEALs. SEALs are among the most feared naval commandos in the world. You may remember this force as the one that took down Osama bin Laden in Abbottabad, Pakistan in 2011. America says two of its SEALs are lost at sea. The story begins on the 11th of January, in the dead of night, off the coast of Somalia. American troops were patrolling the high seas. They spotted a boat bound for Yemen. It was a small boat, what's called a dhow. This boat was unflagged. It was reportedly carrying Iranian advanced conventional weapons. U.S. Navy SEALs intercepted a dhow. They used helicopters, drones. SEALs boarded the boat and seized the weapons. What weapons did they find? Components of Iran-made ballistic missiles, cruise missiles. There were propulsion guidance and warheads for medium-range ballistic missiles. Also, parts of anti-ship cruise missiles. The commandos recovered the parts, sunk the dhow and detained its crew. The U.S. Central Command issued a statement about the operation. It said, and I'm quoting here, The first seizure of lethal Iranian-supplied advanced conventional weapons to the Houthis since the beginning of Houthi attacks against merchant ships in November 2023. Later, it was revealed that two U.S. Navy SEALs were lost in sea during these operations. Question, how do highly trained elite soldiers just get lost at sea? The U.S. military has an explanation. It says the SEALs approached the Dow in a small special operations combat boat. At 8 p.m. local time, the SEALs were boarding the Dow. The sea was choppy. American media reports say one commando slipped off the boarding ladder or was swept away by a high wave. Another dived in after him because that's what the protocol for such an incident is. If one soldier falls into the sea, another dives in to save him. In this case, both the commandos disappeared. These SEALs were based on the USS Lewis Puller. We are now being told that a search and rescue operation followed. Troops from the US, Japan and Spain spent 10 days looking for the two SEALs. Air and naval units were roped in. Oceanographers, weather experts were deployed. They searched 21,000 square miles. But the two commandos were not found. Here's what the CENTCOM commander, General Eric Carilla, has to say now. We mourn the loss of our two naval special warfare warriors and we will forever honor their sacrifice and example. Our prayers are with the SEALs' families, friends, the U.S. Navy and the entire special operations community during this time. A lot does not add up here. First, it is hard to believe that the U.S. Navy SEALs can just disappear at sea. They can drown. We are talking about an elite force here. U.S. Navy SEALs are among the world's most feared and highly trained naval commandos. SEALs carry out reconnaissance and covert operations. They are trained to be mentally strong to refuse to quit. They are called SEALs because they can operate in sea, air and land. They undergo some of the most rigorous training in military history, including underwater training. They are pushed to the end of their physical limits. And guess what? To become a U.S. Navy SEAL, you need to pass a physical examination required for Navy divers. And here, the U.S. wants us to believe that not one, but two of its SEALs disappeared at sea. Here's what else makes this story hard to believe. The U.S. Central Command only issued a statement about the operation and the missing SEALs on the 16th of January, full five days after the incident. This is a statement. It quotes the U.S. CENTCOM commander as saying, we are conducting an exhaustive search for our missing teammates. And now look at the Central Command's Twitter handle. If you scroll through it, you will notice that the Central Command has been extremely prompt in posting updates on all the action at high sea. Every morning, CENTCOM posts about what's happened to overnight. But on the morning of the 12th, it had no word on the overnight operation aboard the Dow. Remember, on the night of January 11th, there was something else that was happening. U.S. forces, along with forces of the U.K., were bombing Houthi targets in Yemen. Are we to believe this operation overshadowed what happened aboard the Dow? Or was America trying to cover up something? Are America's elite commandos not trained to handle high waves and choppy seas? Are they not equipped to save a teammate's life? These are important questions. The U.S. Central Command has now declared the two SEALs dead. Here's the statement. 
We regret to announce that after a 10-day exhaustive search, our two missing U.S. Navy SEALs have not been located and their status has been changed to diseased. Out of respect for their families, no further information will be released at this time. This is a post by the U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. He says, we mourn the loss of our two brave SEALs and our hearts are with their families. The entire department is united in sorrow today. Quick question, are they also united in hiding something? Perhaps the truth. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.